Hey everyone, so if you guys follow me, you know that I've been into keyboards for the past couple of months. So in this video, I wanted to show everyone what I have currently. This is not a flex, I promise. Trust me. All of these were sent for me to try. I am not paid to promote any of these, although I wish I was. But if you were ever interested in some of these, links are down in the description in the video. Some of them are affiliates to help out the channel, so yeah, thank you so much for the support. So first, I wanted to talk about what kickstarted my keyboard addiction. Well, I mean, not really keyboard addiction because I'm kind of like getting over it at this point. But the story started with this Razer keyboard that I got from my uncle last last year. I was super stoked because this was one of the first mechanical keyboards that I've ever owned and it was clicky. I really enjoyed the clicky sound and I used this daily whenever I played Apex with my friends. Moving on to June last year, I actually wanted to buy a 60% keyboard, not for gaming, but for studying. Yeah, I'm weird. And last year, I saved up quite a bit of money and I thought to myself, you know, I haven't really bought anything this year, might as well treat myself. And I thought it would be a great video to make as well. So I bought the RK61 from the Royal Clutch. Now, I don't have the Royal Clutch right now, the RK61, because I kind of sold it up to a friend in exchange for... Uh this thing yeah you can tell me that i have bad financial decisions ever since i've been expanding my keyboard collection and moving to the first keyboard that i've ever built my gamma k lk67 by far this is still one of my favorite keyboards until now i wasn't expecting the board to be this good especially the stock stabilizers like just listen to this I got the Echo Black and Pink ASA keycaps, which looks really nice. It isn't the cheapest keycap set, but I can say that it's worth it. Of course, Gator and Yellows, because I'm a beginner in this whole hobby, and I was pleasantly surprised by how much better these sounded compared to my Gator and Reds. Here's a sound test. Now this is one of the more unique ports that I have. This is the Snowfox 61 from Keymove and I actually got this after my RK61. You can sort of call this like the hot swappable version of the AN Pro. It has stock gate on reds and I kind of looped all the switches because why would you not? Now what's special and unique about this custom is that I swapped the stock keycaps with these really cute palm jelly rainbow keycaps I got from MechDIY, link in the description. I specifically chose this keycap set for this board because the board is white, but also because of its RGB. Paired with lubed Gadron Reds, this has sort of a light poppy sound to it which I like. Here's a sound test. And since the actuation force of the Gatoron Reds is light, I usually use this keyboard whenever I'm gaming. This is the second keyboard I got, and I immediately used this over the RK61. The stock keycaps looked really nice as well, the font was nice, and the white color of it matched my desk. The next keyboard we have is the Yunzi KC68, which was kindly sent to me by Yunzi. The case material for this keyboard is one of the more unique aspects of this keyboard as it is made of ABS plastic. Now I do have to say the case feels very flimsy whenever I click it up because I feel like it will break or something. These are the stock keycaps that it comes with. It comes with an XDA profile keycap set. Why did I stutter? <laughs> and it's pretty thick as well which adds and makes the sound a lot better. This came with stock Gator and Yellows which is great. And of course I loop the switches and quite honestly this is one of the best sounding boards that I have currently. Just listen to this. Now, I didn't mod the stabilizers because number one, I was quite lazy. <laughs> the stabilizers on this keyboard isn't bad, 
Although what's funny about the keyboard is that the spacebar sounds decent if I press the left side, but sounds really bad when I press the right side. Just listen to this. Overall, if it weren't for the stabilizers, I would actually consider this to be the best sounding keyboard that I have currently. The next keyboard I have on my list is this Marvo DIY Redefined 68. This is another 65% keyboard that I own. I built this with clicky switches this time. Now of course, for the keyboard fans out there, I went with Kyle box switches, box boost specifically. Now personally, while yes, I do think these box switches sound nicer than the Gator and Blues or something, you do still get sick of the sound over time. I got these switches as well as the keycap set from Banggood. And if you're wondering, this is the Apollo keycap set which I did find out that this was a clone set from GMK, so please don't roast me, these were sent to me. Overall, I think this is a nice sounding keyboard, the Kyle Box Blue sound really very crispy, and the keyboard feels very sturdy, the case is made of half plastic and half metal which just looks a lot better than plastic. And quite honestly, the switches sound so much better than my Razer keyboard. Just take a listen. And finally, last but not least, we have my mini macro pad from Easy Ezel. This is the first ever macro pad that I've owned and the first keyboard that I actually built from scratch. Now they did send me the package for me to assemble, so it's kind of like a Lego set where it was up for me for assembly. It included Kyle Box pinks, and for some reason, it's way louder than my Box blues. I also interchanged the keycaps with my Apollo keycap set because I thought it would look better than these transparent plastic keycap sets that it comes with. Now these keys are different to do different macros. This one is for control C or copy. This one's for control V and etc. This is a really cute macro pad and this is what it sounds like. And there you have it. Those were all of my keyboards that I built. I do have the RK84, but I don't have any switches and keycaps currently for me to mod it. I will mod it soon, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching my addiction, and hopefully I won't spend more on this hobby because I want to buy other things in life. Anywho, I hope to catch you in the next video, and don't forget to drink your water. Bye!